Hello everyone, we're the Hobby Farm Guys. I'm Brian, next to me is Steve, Howdy. and waiting in the wings is Eric. If you've got a flock of chickens, you may have thought about a guard goose to watch over them. We'll go over some things to consider, give our picks for the best breeds for that purpose in just a moment. And a moment is all it takes to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Having a flock of chickens can be both fun and rewarding, but it does have some challenges, and one of these is protecting them from predators. One way to do this is to have a larger and more defensive bird become a part of that flock to warn them and square off against small animals that would harm them. Well, chickens may not be the very bottom of the food chain, they're pretty close. Okay. Right? They have little ability to defend themselves against predators like raccoons, weasels, foxes, or hawks. Just one of these animals can devastate a flock, as we can both attest, oh, yeah. right? But a guard goose living among them may be just enough to avoid or minimize any losses. As with any protection measure, don't rely on geese alone to protect your flock. You should take a layered approach, using guardian geese as just one way to keep your birds safe, along with secure housing and predator deterrence, among other things. Geese can be quite helpful but they can't do everything by themselves. It's also best to raise guardian geese from goslings along with the chicks, so that way they bond with them. Uh, it isn't essential, but it'll work out better. If you do this, goslings can be raised on chick feed, just make sure that it's unmedicated. In any case, geese can be added to a flock without their traditional introduction period. Just put them in the coop and they all wake up as one big happy group. But make sure you only have one or two geese. Any more than two, and they're going to group together and not bond with the chickens that they're housed with. And if they don't bond, they may become a deterrent, but won't actively protect those chickens. Also, most goose breeds live far longer than most chickens. So if you choose a guardian goose, they may be standing guard for as much as 25 years. Geese can be great at foraging for weeds, providing meat for the table, or guarding your flock. And though all breeds will do all of these things, some breeds are better at some particular tasks than others. So with that in mind, here's our list of the goose breeds that make the best guardians. Yeah, the first on the list is the Chinese geese. They're large and they're loud. Add defensive to that list and you have all the best qualities of a good guard goose. The African goose is closely related to the Chinese and has all those same similar qualities as their cousins, but they're even larger. They may be the most popular breed for this purpose sold in the United States. Now another breed to consider is the Tufted Roman. Smaller than the others, it's still pretty effective. In fact, legend has it that one of these geese alerted Roman guards to an attack by the Gauls and saved the city. And finally, the Pomeranian breed from Germany. These are quite noisy and they have a reputation for alerting their owners to visitors and predators alike. Now, each of these breeds was featured in our Beginner's Guide to Goose Breeds, so if you want to learn more about each one, we'll leave a link to that video in the description below. Have you had a guard goose in your flock? Or have you owned any of these breeds and like to share about the effectiveness as a guardian? If so, leave us a comment. We read them all and love to hear from you. Until next time, keep on hobby farming. Bye-bye. <laughs>